You can sift this. You can kick this. You can sip this. You can rip this. You can tip this. You can lift this. You can flip this. You can lick this. You can kiss this. Yuka Liptis. Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. I know it's been a little while, so I'm super excited to cut a special species on the sawmill today. And that is this beautiful eucalyptus log. From what I've heard about eucalyptus, it's supposed to be really pretty on the inside with some reddish, yellowish colors. So I'm super excited to cut it open and see what it looks like. As you guys know, I haven't been out here filming videos recently, but that's because I have a full-time job and I've been super busy. If you guys would like to see me out here making videos for you guys full-time, and I'd love to do that, this would be a great time for you guys to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for all of our future videos and share all our videos with your friends. We got this eucalyptus log and a ton of other really cool logs from our friends at JD's Tree Service. If you guys are in the Central Florida area and looking for a tree service, we highly recommend them and you'll find their contact information in the description below. Before I can start cutting this log today, I need to call upon the Lumber Wizard. You called upon the Lumber Wizard, milady? Not you, the Lumber Wizard metal detector. Oh, okay. There it is, the Lumber Wizard 5 metal detector. As you guys know, we often hit metal in the logs that we cut on the sawmill. So we got this Lumber Wizard 5 metal detector here at the shop and it has been working wonders. It does a great job in finding any nails or screws in the logs that we cut. So before I bring this eucalyptus log over to the sawmill, I'm gonna check it for any metal. It looks like this eucalyptus log is free of any metal, but just to show you how the Lumber Wizard 5 would work, let's pretend this screw is a nail in the log. And when I go over it, you can hear it detects it. So if you guys are interested in learning more about the Lumber Wizard 5 or purchasing one for yourself, you can find the information in the link in the description below. As you guys can tell, I ate a pretty big breakfast this morning. Just kidding, I'm actually seven and a half months pregnant. My friend Jenna here is at the shop with me to make some shop projects later, but first she's going to help me cut this eucalyptus log. So we got to get this log up on the sawmill and get to cutting. As you can see, we had the log all clamped down on the sawmill. And recently here at the shop, we've been messing with a lot of live edge slabs. So today we're gonna cut this log into some 10 quarter slabs. Let's get started. You'll notice that Jen and I will not be wearing any masks today, but we have three industrial style fans that will be blowing out our back and blowing all the sawdust away. So we won't be breathing in any sawdust. We know a lot of you guys get concerned with that and we appreciate it, but we are safe and nothing to worry about. <laughs> so the first thing we want to do is figure out we want to make our first cut. So let's see, probably want to do it, it's going to be right around at 21 inches and then we want to adjust our guide. 
make sure it's not going to hit any part of the log over there. While I'm cutting, you can just walk along that side of the sawmill just in case you need to take over when I'm on maternity leave. All right, we'll start it up. We just made our first cut. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. We'll push it forward and then grab this end and tilt it up. <laughs> oh wow, it's super red on the inside. That's beautiful. It is nice. Looks, look, looks very purple. similar to cedar, that red cedar. Dang, that's really nice. I'm super excited about the color inside this log. It's really looking like a cedar or even a purple heart with all this deep red purple color. This will make some beautiful, beautiful projects or even some furniture. So let's continue cutting and see what we've got on the inside. This was heavier than I thought. This is heavy. Yeah. You were like, pretend it's heavy. I'm like, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great. It's beautiful though. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. It is, it's really nice. Before we make our next cut, I'm gonna scrape some of the sawdust off so we can really see what that looks like. Oh, wow. It's like a solid purple, dark red color all the way through. A Little bit of light right there. You can make amazing tables, projects, but it's super, super dense. Like this is very, very heavy. I'm surprised I didn't realize it was gonna be this heavy, but it'll be a nice hard word to work with. Look at the detail though. Yeah, I think it's just gonna get better the, the yeah. deeper we cut. All right, let's make our next cut. I don't think we can lift this eucalyptus, so let's call on the reinforcements. <whistles> you can't lift this eucalyptus either. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Let's see. Oh, hey. wow. That's beautiful. That is. Yeah, that's cool. Really dark wow. colors. I did not expect that. It's like, reminds me of like Arizona, like the desert. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty. Dang. This is really dark. I'm surprised. That's definitely more have some black. looking like purple heart. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. That's very good wood. Don't appreciate it until you look at it. <laughs> That's right.
in. Yeah. You see that crack? Yeah, it cracked on the end. Oh, right here. All right, boys. Come on in. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say you have the scraper. Ooh. I like Very this little nice. oh, of black. Nice. Yeah, yeah, got some cool designs in here. That definitely split on the last little bit on the end there, but I've got some more black designs over here. There you go. That's nice. And then the limbs coming in. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's super nice. Oh, like kind of looks like a dog, a wiener dog. Can you <laughs> it does. Can you hold it for a second? Yeah. It does. Dude, here. What? What's it looks like a wiener dog. Look, with the nose, the mouth, the little ear. <laughs> Look at this color, though. Yeah, that's cool. I love, like, wood stuff. Like, the whole barn yeah. stuff. Well, it's funny we keep... Like... Are they putting it in there? You're going to lean up against it, I think. Look skinny. <laughs> No, it make me look like ripped. Like I'm gonna ruin someone's life. <laughs> I'm gonna be someone's worst nightmare. There you go. 15 and three quarters. We wanna drop it down to 14 and three quarters. 13 and three quarters. And 13 and a quarter. That cut went through this limb sticking out on the side over here. So once we open this up, there should be some really cool crotch figure on the inside. Oh, wow. wow. That is nice. There it is. That crotch figure. That actually reminds That's me. That's really nice. That reminds me of camp fur. Exactly. Of what? Camp fur. So camp fur, the camp fur crotch. It has a really similar figure right there. That's gonna be really cool once you get once I get sanded down. Yeah, that's really nice. That would make it really nice. Whatever. Look how far it goes too. Yeah, it goes all the way down. Wow, that's really nice. You know, it's kind of what is kind of like granite, where it's like natural, mm -hmm. and everywhere you look is like some new pattern, new, new image. You can already see some of that nice crotch figure poking through, but wait until I spray it down with water. Oh, wow. Look at the rainbow effect. The yeah. Water. Wow, look at that. That really came through nicely. Super dark colors. Definitely has a lot of that purple heart look to it. And this is really similar, it reminds me of camphor. The crotch figures in camphor. This is incredible. Definitely exceeded my expectations. I did not expect the eucalyptus to look like this on the inside. But this is very beautiful. beautiful.
All right. I think this next cut is going to be one of the most beautiful slabs out of this log. So let's flip it over and see. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. A little different type of cross, but it's definitely some darker, some darker figure that goes through. Let's get the slab off so I can spray it down and see what it looks like. This one looks like a thicker boy. These are the two book match slabs from the center of that log. I'm going to spray them down so you can see the beautiful color. This one looks a little bit lighter than that one, but it ha still has a really cool crotch figure going almost all the way through. It's a nice, dark figure down here. That's awesome. Those are beautiful, beautiful slabs. These are the last two slabs out of that log and we got six really nice eucalyptus slabs that I'm super excited about. The color in these slabs is absolutely incredible, definitely exceeded my expectations and it, I think it's one of the most unique logs that we've caught here at the shop. Big thanks to my friend Jenna for coming out and helping me at the sawmill today. What'd you think about your first time at the sawmill? I thought everything was beautiful. I never really experienced wood cutting and it really blew my mind seeing all the different colors and textures and I definitely want to do it again. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if you guys want to see me out here full time, you have to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share all of our videos with your friends. A lot of you guys have been asking how I've been doing since I, you haven't seen me in as many videos recently, but I've been doing really well. The pregnancy has been going really smoothly and baby Liam is doing great. I'm hoping to get a couple more videos in for you guys before baby Liam arrives. That's going to do it for this video today. We'll see you guys on the next one. That cut went through this limb here on the side, so once we open it up, there should be some really cool figure in that cut. <laughs>
I got. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> the cockadoodle. Crotches and I don't know what I'm thinking. Crotches and cocks. <laughs> you think this crotch is beautiful? <laughs> Wait until you see what I can do. <laughs> Just slide your hand up and down it again. Slow across the crotch. <laughs> Jenna's a comedian. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna jump and land and be like. You called upon the lumber lizard? <laughs> lumber lizard. <laughs> my lady? All right, ready? You called upon the lumber wizard, my lady? Not you. The lumber wizard metal detector. Oh, okay. I'm just fat. People are like, no, just... you've really gained a lot of weight. <laughs> um, yeah. Last one. All right, ready? And I'm like, I want to eat. Mmm. You can eat this. <laughs> you, he wanted to do one more take. No. Oh. Well, mean, did you want to do one more take? That's okay. You can eat it. Well, you guys have a tongue over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So. Like Titanic. One take. Yep. Wait. You could probably just put it in there. But then why would I stand here? You got to say your cue. Say, you can kick this. Okay. You can whip this. Mm. <laughs> oh, you should whip that nene. You can whip this. Yeah, do the, you know how to do the whip the nene? Whip the nene? Oh, I was thinking mm -hmm. an actual, like, horse crap. Crack a whip? Yeah. You can whip this. No, oh, my God. I rather use a horse. You would get so many comments be like, no. <laughs> All right, that's good. So we're looking forward to coming back out here and hopefully making more videos for you before the baby Liam come. The baby Liam. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been asking how I'm doing since you haven't been seeing me in the videos as much and I am doing really great. The pregnancy has been going smooth and baby Liam is doing well as well. I just blanked out. Okay. This happens every single time. I get tired and now I'm like, like I know. Focus. Okay, hold on. Right. Doing great. Um, okay. Okay, I got it. And that's showbiz, baby. Yep. <laughs> It always gets rougher as the <laughs> video goes on. These bloopers? What do you want to say for the bloopers? I'm tired. Oh, God bless. <laughs> <laughs>